hello we've got a lot to get through today um, I went through my old hard drives which I just recently had uh, it wiped and I had to go and pay to retrieve all my data off my hard drives and luckily I did because I found all of Aussie's old channelings and all of Golden Child here um, channelings and so I went through it the other day and I found some interesting um, chapters or some interesting segments. Um, so I thought I would share some of that with you. Um, and then I've also got recent um, Golden Child's channelings and some things that have happened uh, to share with you too. So I will get into the channelings. We have asked of you, this was on, sorry, The Golden Child, the 12th of November, 2016. Uh, we have asked of you to create a visual art piece to help invoke our energy signature. We have an appointment coming soon next year in your time. We will appear and make contact and pass on important messages to the original tribe. I've been... Influencing your thoughts and your energy behind the scenes. There's a strong energy pattern, a battle of wills happening on your planet. You have been aware of this and personally involved with the Illuminati elite controlling people and controlling others around you. Um, people with this struggle usually end their own lives to be free of it because they can't handle the manipulation. Others can go a bit crazy. Um, others find spiritual techniques and tools to help them cope with it all as well. Um, it, it also creates a lot of narcissists in the world too. Um, they get into that energy imprint and they stay with it and they run with it and they uh, really like the energy of it all. And so they create more dramas and create more chaos and havoc around people because that is feeding them uh, our fear energy and our anger energy and our not understanding at all energy and they just soak that up like a vampire. Um, so it also says um, it's destroying others um, with their own narcissist, narcissistic behaviours. We asked you to create our image in your interpretive way as on the other side of the coin another dark elite created the dark child but she's a real child instead of an art piece a pregnant lady was kept kept by them tortured and subject to cruel satanic rituals rape and forced to live in an energy of fear the birth created a dark child filled with hate and fed the energy it's a true energy vampire, that dark child, soaking up negativity, molestation, and fed with blood instead of milk, and no nurturing. They created the spawn of the devil, as prophesied by them. To counteract that kind of negative energy, to counteract the dark child, they told me to create the golden child here, which is just a simple art piece. Um, but it gives me something to energetically hold the signature of the uh, golden charm, which are the Palladium beings. And it also gives me something to focus on. I'm very tactile, psychic, and use a lot of psychometry. So this is how I uh, channel messages by touching the top of its head and um, receiving messages from it. Um... This is why we've told you to create the golden child to counteract the dark child's energy, which you have all known about through the years as it has been talked often about. Hence why you will be pulled, if not called, to work against the dark, the demons, the unholy. You will fight with all of your might and others will join you on this quest. Your eyes will no longer be closed. You will no longer turn a blind eye. I have assisted you now to see the entities with your psychic senses. Once you refuse to do this, to give it your energy, but an event in your own personal life will shake you out of this and trust you into a new path of a demonic hunter. 
you will have people in high places that will help and guide you to the right tools their death is not wasted but you're a vital but they're a vital purpose for this whole procedure um, they're going to help get rid of the world of the dark elite you will train as a um, demonologist and master your skills your angels your skull the golden child the Palladian United Beings of High Council will support you, protect you, and even save you from the worst physical outcome. Your brain will be manipulated for a reason, to look at things in a new way. Your senses will be heightened to a new extreme level. We are preparing you all for the fight against good versus evil. You will be... The ones understood like always oh you will always be feel like you're not understood um, like always but you're always a step ahead of others but our worlds will come there in the future and you will be validated in the end to clear the way for activation which is happening on the 21st of the 12th 2000, uh, 2020 at Uluru um you must find balance close portals change the energy find your inner love and call in all the people that have passed over that are enlightened and ready to help with the energy imprint on the selected day numbers are needed so use your spiritual alliance reserve in spirit form to call upon others there to become the army of light so as a medium uh we talk to spirits we talk to dead people we we speak to uh lots of different realms the ascended masters the gods the goddesses spirit guides angels elementals uh the list goes on and on um you know alien beings as people like to call them i call them star beings um call them all in on the day call them all in get all your spiritual alliance all together all in the room around you or under a pyramid if you're lucky to have one and um, have them all here when you're activating that at that time on that day um, the more energy it was never said that it had to be people I think it can be people and spirits to help make up the numbers so mediums out there call them in other people call them in let's help get the numbers up um their uh, golden child also gave me some tools the other day um i call her a she but it's really um it's no sex um it's just an endogenous being but i'll just call it a she um she said to call upon a hundred thousand angels to call in your spirit guides, ascender masters, gods, goddesses, um, those that are medium, really call them in and join in people that are passed over who are high vibrational frequencies. Um, call them all in. Um, if we do this, those that choose to be a part of the energy wave on the 21st of 12th, 2020, um, it will help increase the energy and the activation of that place. If you're going to participate yourself, make sure you come from the heart, pure energy, high frequency, and raising your vibrations. Um, meditate, take time out, ground yourself, um, find all the spiritual tools that you need, that you like to work with. Find out what your spiritual gift is, and everybody has one. Um, some are psychic, some are medium, some are clairvoyant, some work with crystal grids, some work with quantum physics and mathematics and um, surveys, others work with running workshops, universal tools, uh, life coaching, there's so many, music therapy, art therapy, uh, the list goes on and on, just find what your gift is, you might not have one, you might have many of them and that's fine, just find the tools um, that are going to help you raise your vibration and raise the earth's vibration as well. Um, the next bit is um, 
a channel session that happened with Golden Child here on the 1st of September, uh, the first day of spring. Um, so I will read out the channeled message. A meteorite scare will happen in November. Um, this is to deter you from the path. Fear not as fear is the most detrimental force to have in this important time. It will be the last ditch effort by the dark elite to produce fake news. The golden child, the Palladian beings of the High Council have secured the airspace around Earth and they are monitoring and hovering ready to defer any meteorite attack or false flags. Your Earth has our full support for this activation to occur. We are doing all we can to make this date and time to happen. All we need now is your support and to follow through with your own activation. This is new energy signature needed to usher in the golden age. There is also another activation on the 20th 37 where we will return to amplify the magic box. We will be present in the inner chamber at Uluru and above in the skies on both of these occasions. There is a tunnel being uh, evacuated. Uh, yep, while you're in lockdown. Excavated, sorry. Excavated <laughs> while you're in lockdown. That leads to Uluru to the inner chamber by the military. But all attempts will be foiled as a large underground boulder the same size as Uluru as above the ground is as below the ground. This um, this will also help to protect the inner chamber at Uluru. Plus, a huge ancient tree root system blocks the way. The root system is still alive, while well, some parts of it, the other parts are petrified wood. Um, the live part is able to create a root web. Even if it's broken, it immediately rejoins and grows stronger, a binding bond. Plus, the elementals are protecting the entrance to Teleos there. All is protected and safe. This is just for your awareness only, not to be... Not to be complacent, not to be complacent, but empowered by truth. Do not focus on other forces out there. There are light workers with roles and callings to remove them, to clear the way for this energy signature. Your job is to rise up people, to shine your golden light bright. There are ancestral border rings being created around Uluru at present. The ancient border rings are also being renewed and renovated. Each ring will hold the energy of animals, elementals, ancestors, the plant life, wind, water, fire and earth. A men's circle, a woman's circle, ceremonial and celebration circle. You may also make your own bore ring or perhaps a better terminology, a medicine wheel, and make your own portals to help with the stargates opening as well. Um, or make a large dream catcher because after all a dream catcher is a smaller version of the medicine wheel. We also recommend you to build and create an earth altar. Place favourite items found on the earth onto it and give thanks for each of the items. So then an interesting thing happened yesterday uh, when I wasn't around Golden Child. Um, but I definitely got a test and um, I'm not sure who channeled this message. Um, it came to me last night once I realised about the test but... Um, I, I will give you this information. Uh, we gave you a metaphor yesterday, the 4th of September 2020. You were at the duck pond feeding the ducks, enjoying your favourite thing to do. Then out of nowhere, an eastern brown snake appeared at your feet. You ran, but you didn't notice the ducks walked off behind you just before that arrival of the snake. The ducks knew intuitively it was there, 
and via and via the ground vibrations you heard nothing or saw nothing it was just there all of a sudden your husband stood his ground didn't flinch or panic the snake was startled by you by your quick movements and your retreating back into and the snake retreated back into the murky pond water both actions were correct your husband but not moving not showing fear as as he didn't want to feed the fear even though i'm sure he felt it inside he didn't express it and your actions of running away avoiding it distancing yourself not looking back you walked around grounding yourself instead of screaming and carrying on you let it go you returned your attention to the ducks doing what you love instead of staying in fear that that snake would return as you got up to leave the ducks left you a present of thanks a single white feather and a seed pod this means you have passed your test these items now can be placed on your earth altar this lesson should teach you that fear is present to test you it's how you react that matters so my point is this, during this time, things and forces will try to test you, to distract you off your path. Stay grounded. React to the neg negativity differently. Trust as an observer and, a, and not as a willing participant. Remove yourself from it. Don't take it personally. Do not feed the energy. See past it. It is just an illusion. Stay on your enlightened path and gifts will bestow you. Oh, Nella there. <laughs> um, so I also got this morning joining together in a collective mindset, which is currently happening, creates an energetic Taurus. We can have water Tauruses, universal Taurus, um, air Tauruses, but now we have all created together in the same mindset and mind energetic Taurus. Um, this is very important because the Taurus is also helping clean everything and cleanse and purify and uh, bringing in a higher vibration as well. The dark forces are trying to destroy the energetic mind Taurus. Use psychic tools to dismantle negative mind control, which has been upgraded lately. We will give you more information on this later after you have made your earth altar. So, um, <laughs> that's all the channeling that has come from Golden Child. And I'm not sure who that last one was, if it was Golden Child. Um, it, the energy signature of it felt more like uh, Archangel Michael. Um, and maybe it was the both of them together because uh, as we know Archangel Michael talks a lot in metaphors um, but Golden Child was probably there in the background as well influencing things too it's hard these days because channeling isn't just like one being anymore um, now it's like councils of one being in one being doing it and it's like uh, you've got a line up of spirits who all want to talk to you and sometimes they all talk at the same time and uh, other times they're happy to wait and take their turn and other times it's just like a great big um, party in my head is the best way to describe it where they're all chattering and you've got to try and put focus onto that one and put focus onto that one but somehow your psychic mind seems to remember all the conversations that happened at once and even though you try to focus in on certain subjects or certain things um, your psychic mind just remembers it all and brings up that recall when it's absolutely needed um, so it might feel very overwhelming to some that you're getting so many entities in and so many beings in and you're not understanding who they are or what they want or what their name is um, and you just feel like you're getting downloaded all the time uh, that is very common at the moment and that is okay um, You just have to keep grounded you have to do all these other little spiritual tools that keep you away from channeling and do things to enhance your channeling um, And find your right tools your own psychic tools 
um, that you've learnt how to cope with it all. Um, so anyway, the next video will just be a short one of me making the earth altar. I'm using my seven day uh, Buddha blessing table. I've been called, it's already there, it has been there for probably the last six months. Um, each week I go there and leave a token of water and flowers um, to the seven Buddhas of each day. I'm now going to turn that into a earth altar as well and the Buddhas can protect it as well as get, getting the seven day blessings as well. So um, next video will be about that. Uh, I will see you soon. Love and light to all. Uh, I hope all the channelings are starting to make sense. Um, I'd love to hear about your own channelings and if you've been working with your own golden child or your own palladium being. Um, anyway, thank you. Angels, blessings. Bye. <laughs>